Welcome back to Endless Mode. I am, well, I guess since I'm doing the intro, I'm not really special You're guest. You're the special guest. T. Stymac. Know your place. I'm Boku Bell. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. We do have a... We do have an additional a person here, I promise. His phone, really. <laughs> I, I might have been updating our social media. I apologize. <laughs> Millennials uh, and their phones. Am I, I right? This is a... Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of figured I had three people between me and having to interact with that screen in front of me. <laughs> you did! You did have three people! <laughs> well, no, I mean as far as the fighting bits. I forgot that there was an intro. <laughs> Anyway, we're back here playing Dark Souls. We looking so good. I guess that makes me special guest captain emoji since I have no idea what's going on. Now, really. are we burnt to a crisp or are we wearing like a clay mask, like a full body clay mask situation? That's a good question. Uh, I figured mummy. Yeah, I think we're just desiccated. Okay, well that's fair. So, we do have enough money. Like that mummy reboot that's coming out. Uh... And remember, our, our money in this game is dead guys. That's more like zombie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're, we're trading 500 worth of dead guys for a new hat? Yeah, if we want. Uh, we can get a new hat, we can get some new pants. I don't know about the new pants. Yeah, I think you guys are pretty attached to this look. Get, um, get away from those pants right we, now. We can get some new gloves, we can Give get a hat. Give us a good hat. We need a good hat. I, I mean, I like this man with no name look that's going on, but it's time <laughs> for us to grow into a new era. A new person. So we're going to get the, the chain helm, is that what I'm hearing? Yes. All right. 500 souls. Don Cushane. And let's see how we look in our new hat. Um, I think we're going to look real nice. If I can remember what all the buttons are. Oh, I can't do it because this guy's busy talking to us. <laughs> well, that'd be really inconvenient if there were bad it, guys so, around. So Lucky's a little bit shy then. It would seem so. Okay. New hat. You can't change looks Hang with on, somebody let's... looking. Let's double check and make sure this is a substantially better hat in okay. a lot of ways. Well, there as long we go. as we're not getting set on fire. We look like we're wearing a used poison. Kleenex, so I have to imagine just about anything is better. Oh, it's so good. This is a nice look. It's a really good look. We just put it on top of the poncho. Our legs look like yeah. birds well, yeah, swing we just gives. Get Let's see if we can stand. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. There is a nose. There's some, there's some nose meat. Man, we are straight up Batman villain at this point. <laughs> I'm so into it. So, uh, from last time I switched weapons. We like got a little bit of a of sassy swing. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on. This is a lot of look. I think a lot of people couldn't pull it off. Um, but Look, it's confidence. Confidence is what... Look at that sachet You know the, the angle I need. Look at it. <laughs> you know the angle I crave. Let's see, uh, just get good and deep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sort of Skilling that sprightly and confidence, confident. So, well, then that's the entire goal, is she needs to have faith in herself, and she's starting with the walk. Also, uh, if you watched our last episode, you'll remember that I didn't remember how to jump. I figured it out, so now we're over here. How, how do you jump? One, out of, one out of four info for all of us. knows how to jump. Hey, we got a crossbow and some ammo. Yes. We've all been to that party, my friend. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think we all probably have been to that party. <laughs> In Montana, yes. We we have... We have a crossbow. That We all know a house where that party don't stop. Leap! Nope. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. The, uh, the way you jump is you hold down B to sprint, and then you just press B again. Oh. Yeah. Hold B, tap B. Okay. So let's do that some more. In trouble later. Yeah. Let, let's progress some more. Uh, let's see if I can make this dual wielding thing work. And I'm definitely not doing the dual wield so that I'm not the only one playing this game. That's not what's happening. Uh -huh. No matter what mm -hmm. anyone says. Uh -huh. Remember, there are three dudes in that room. Now, these guys don't have a fun name. I need to come up with a fun name for them, because we've got Kissaboos, we've got Skelly Gels. Um... Oh, that did not go Flash well. Flash attack. Hey, so did you see that, that time when I got my souls from him? Uh, I got... Ooh. Oh, you got a straight-up battle axe. Yeah. 
But when it was black instead of just the usual white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you look top left, now we've got more humanity. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh. And if you guys want, I can go show you what we do with humanity. I mean, you... Really, the only way to gain humanity, and the root of humanity is, of course, compassion, um, is by killing the undead. I want to um, look an axe. Might want to equip something else in that hand, like your magic or something. No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna two-hand this thing. I think. It does look heavy enough that it's probably a two-hander, isn't it? Uh, I don't actually have to, and that's not how you open menus. Just because it is in Skyrim. <laughs> You've been playing the Scrim? Uh, yeah, that's the game I'm playing right now, because it's the game my wife is playing, and I don't open uh, up the uh, disc drive. Okay, I can, I can see that. But that sounds fair, yeah. If you look uh, down required parameters, uh, sort of in the middle on towards the bottom. Oh, we had to have 12 strength and 8 decks to use it. Yeah, mm. but here's a fun fact. Uh, the strength requirement only has to be half that if you're Wielding it two-handed. Oh. Uh, I am wielding it. Oh, dang it, Stymac! Well, now you're not wielding it any. You're just used to being deprived. I, I am hearing something in the background I'm a little concerned about. Oh, someone's throwing a firebomb at us. I'm not terribly worried. Okay. Um, but it's got a, a lot higher damage than anything else we have. And it uh, scales with both. And two-handing, since we're not doing shields does even more damage. Mm. Oh, I don't have enough souls to do anything, so there's no reason to go back there. Got plenty of health. But so yeah, that why guy's... aren't... Why no shield? Uh, is it so that we can wield this effectively? No, we don't need to do that. Uh, it's just that I'm trying to block less just because uh, blocking uses up your stamina and... Uh, it... it... You still take some damage. Mm -hmm. You uh, you lose stamina, and uh, oh. it tends to encourage, I guess, a slower, less aggressive playstyle. That's right. That tends to make this game a bit more grueling. Mm. Um, oh heck! Like hi hiding behind the shield and and waiting for an opening is a very slow and measured sort of gameplay mm -hmm. that tends to make this even <coughs> less fun to get good at. I guess. Yes. Um, I've, I've, I've heard a little bit of a discussion about it where, um, the later games definitely tend to discourage shield use. Um. Because it's less fun. Yeah, it, it, it just tends to be a, a slower, grindier pace that, uh. Like, who plays Monster Hunter with a sword and shield? Seriously. I mean, it is like the starter weapon it gives you, but unless you're gathering stuff and mining... Uh, yeah, I don't really know anyone that does. Well, now we can dual-wield them. <laughs> uh, can, so can we dual-wield giant things? Yes! Interesting. Uh, we currently have the strength that... Uh, there's a crossbow guy on this tower, but he can't shoot us from here, so let's just do this. Let's... Stare at him defiantly with our little, our little cindered Slim Jims. Here we go! <laughs> yes! Looks a little oh. slow. It it's, is. It's good, though. I also <laughs> noticed that each one takes, like, a quarter of our stamina. We're bar. like a human Quisenart. So here's the thing uh, about the battle axe, and the reason that I usually won't use it. Um, uh, weapons. Uh, standard battle axe inflicts regular damage, but if you notice... One wrong swing leaves the wielder wide open. Mm. Well, yeah. It, yeah, it did. I mean, but, the, the game is is punishing anyway, so. Like it, but again, it's it's very fair. Uh huh. It told us that. Mm -hmm. So. Provided you know to go in that menu. That's right. Or but, I, again, you got to be able to defeat the menu mid boss or sub boss. Is there sneaking? I'm sneaking right now, aren't I? Yes. Nice. Also, you're. A little bit invisible. Uh, invincible. Or, yeah, invincible when you're... Yeah, notice that. That was great. In the middle of animations. But only certain animations, like the one we just did. Uh, backstabs or criticals. Good to know. Like, so right that's now... why you were getting firebomb. There are three guys with firebombs up there. That's right. 
Um, but I could come up so, here and stab him to death, and now, I did. Trying to remember what the hell we're doing. Are we heading towards some sort of ghost church, or? Um, yeah. There's there's bells. One yeah. of up in a cathedral thingy. Oh, man, did you ever read Sabriel? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I love those books. Hell yeah. So Garth good. Garth Nix is my jam. Garth Nix is so... Garth Nix sent me a copy of the fourth one. All the way from Australia? Uh-huh. He's not the only Australian author to send me a book. Sean Williams sent me the last book in his book of the Cataclysm series Dang. because I could not find it in the U.S. And I sent him an email asking if I could... Or he could help me get in touch with his publisher, who I hadn't been able to get in touch with, to get the book. And he sent it to me. It was absolutely sweet. I think... So uh, which one of these doors leads to our house? This one. Neat. Used residence ah. key. Oh, hey. Um, you know, it's a bit of a fixed effort, but I think we could flip it. But they are both amazing. They're actually both friends. Huh. And oh, I, and I asked Garth Nix nice, about... nice little shortcut to behind these guys. Mm. Uh, via Facebook, I asked him about a, a tabletop version of... A tabletop set in the Old Kingdom, and he's like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Like, we're kind of dabbling with that. Mm-hmm. We'll tell you more later, so... Oh, how good would that be? Man, now I just want to play an Old Kingdom game. I would play the heck out of an Old Kingdom game. It would game. be so good. Do you know who reads the audiobooks for the, uh, at least first three Old Kingdoms? I do not. Tim Curry. I was about to oh. guess that! What the hell? Yeah. I was about to guess either Tim Curry or John Cleese, and I had no idea why that was the instinct, but what a delight. Very good. Very good. Okay, so... You could just nuke them from up there at the top of the stairs. Why didn't I pick the handle Mogget for... If you if you look up, Damn. there's okay. a guy and he's got a barrel in front of him. Okay, so he mm-hmm. wants to push that on us. Right. But that'll be in a minute. For now... Oh. It actually did. You missed. You missed. Oh my god. Still missing. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, Christ. I like how judgmental I am when uh, I'm the next in line. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how smug you are in a minute here. <laughs> Nothing can stop me from when you, being when smug. When you have to get to here to... I am a Capricorn, and so it's sort of built into the... Hey, world. samesies. Hey, I am not surprised, actually. I think that's because you know when my birthday is. Nope, do not remember. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, what's down there? That's a good question. Oh. Well, it's this guy. He looks big. He looks do big not and die like and not... leave me to fight him. He does look burly for a... Uh, he looks big undead. and he looks he's, like he's not looking at you. He's too tall. He is too tall for us. Give it a shot. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I gotta God. die sometimes. So he's he gonna like die perfect, and leave so. me with this son of a bitch. So my critical damage oh, did 84. Oh, no, no, he's not dead. He's not dead. Get no, back. no, he's very much not dead. This is a bad idea. I was going to say, that guy looks like a mid-boss. He I'm going to leg it. it, and the reason is because we don't have any maneuvering room down there. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Bring the food oh, you're so... Uh, yeah, this guy looks Do like... Do not die. Do not leave me with this. This guy looks like a DLC boss or something. No, just a standard enemy. Really? Are we going to fight waves of this I later? Love... Is this a thing that's going to be Oh, no, that's it. I, am, I cannot believe you. Well, that's well, okay. Your souls are going to be very far away from this guy. Yeah, you that's don't true. have to go downstairs to that guy. The, the hate basement was a choice that was made. <laughs> yeah, I chose to do that. And I chose to do it with the stupidest <laughs> weapon combination I had available. <laughs> I'm really excited. I don't know, you did a pretty nice chunk of damage I'm with that really first excited hit. about this. Did you this. see that guy's... Health bar? It did not move! Yeah, but that was a lot of damage. <laughs> I mean, for what we can do right now. For what we can put out, that was a... So you might want to change our weapons, but not right now. He's oh, dead. Oh, whoop. Whoop-a-doop, whoop You might want to walk back to the, uh... No! <laughs> Fair enough. You All make right. a compelling case. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> so you can... Come on. Lock on! There we go. All right, are we doing this? Uh, looks that way. Come on. Oh, no! <laughs> well, <laughs> so our souls and our humanity are gone forever. Our okay. one, oh, humanity. Our 1,000 souls and our three humanity <laughs> are now just not a thing we have anymore. In case that wasn't clear, the controller was handed off from uh, T-Dog to Boku Bell and I promptly died. <laughs> now it's over. To be fair, 
falling to pieces <laughs> an indiscriminate and yeah. vicious beast. The controller is now in the hands of Mysterious Gamer X. Well, guys, I had fun. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hard advise that people don't do the dumb thing I did when they dual wield battle axes. Yeah, uh, that didn't seem like a. I mean, I can always do this. I mean, it wasn't the battle axe that got me. To be fair. <laughs> that yeah, that's that's true. So, I have to ask because I got a, a bit of a look at it there. Um, is this entire like landmass just sort of floating in the ether? Because it seems like that fall was endless. Maybe. It could be. Uh, I know that we have to go up and then we have to go down. Yeah. I'm just asking, like... I mean, it has kind of the Silent Hill fog, so it's not really defined, but it does just kind of look like the fall keeps going. I'm... That's a good question. It You do get to the bottom. Like, we will get to the bottom of this. But... I almost did. <laughs> See, just trying to fast travel. But there is a... The thi- like, the geography of this world is very fuzzy. Mm. And it will get fuzzier before it gets less fuzzy. Mm. Uh, so. Now, I'm not one... Oh, no, it's a, it's a one-handed crossbow, right? But the thing is that they're too far away to lock on. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> but what you can do if you have the binoculars, uh, which we can buy from that merchant, or we could have started the game with. Yeah, we started, uh, when we did our test playthrough of this, and I mean, test playthrough is generous, guys. <laughs> we just died about 40 times before we realized we didn't have to fight that thing. Um, I could not stop pulling up the binoculars. Oh, that's right! Yeah. Oh, jeez. I saw death in great clarity. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that part. Uh, but you can you can manually aim the the Ooh. binoculars. This room is a hateful place. Yeah. yeah, this room's a bit of a murder hole. I'm pretty sure uh, that that was a Muse album. Hateful place? I'm just being facetious. Oh. I thought you meant murder hole, and I was about to say that that <laughs> sounded more like a yeah, like kind maybe of a punk s- album. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Murder hole is the name of at least three different garage bands without labels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Emphasis on the at least. I'm sure. No. No escape. You got a cat. I do. Yeah, the no escape referred to the cat, not to any aspect of the game. Well, well. I mean, it, it, it has many contexts, ah. I suppose. He's just not having it. Player 5 has entered the game, and it is a 20-pound cat. <laughs> Monster cat. Is that cat 20 pounds? Probably. Dang. He's, he's a chunk truck. <laughs> just getting so intimate. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> Cat settled down, like, right by the microphone, in case mm-hmm. it's got anything to say. Yep. We're actually going to use him as one of those, <laughs> uh, uh, pop filters. <laughs> he is fluffy enough. He'd be one of those real nice, dense ones that's supposed to be, like... I Can appreciate... these guys climb up after me? Let's find out. Yup. Yup. I don't think you're going to like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like where your head was at. <laughs> but you got another chance at it, though. Damn it! <laughs> Firebombs! No! Oh my god. Got you. Oh yeah. no! I was about to say, drink the thing, but... There was no time. <laughs> there was no time. This is a very productive episode uh-huh. for the death mm-hmm. uh, death rate. Mm-hmm. We're getting to see a lot of those <laughs> items that you were talking about. It's true! We can learn a lot about the world from reading these descriptions. This is like the grimmest round of musical chairs I've ever played. (laughs) You're not playing musical chairs, but (laughs) this is the grimmest round you've ever played. (laughs) Now, that was probably at Kyle Floyd's birthday (laughs) circa 1996, but that's a whole different story. All right, Mysterious Gamer X on the controls. Nope, Uh, Captain Emoji. Emoji. You guys have your code names. What was that, T-Dog? If I could just call you, like... Dave or Carl or Linda. 
Linda. Do I look like a Linda to you? You do not, but nobody Sweet has any Christ. way of knowing that. Jesus, <laughs> I've gotten Betty. I've gotten Mia. I can see both of those, and like not just because you have a very similar hair color. And cut to, to Miss to... Page. No. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no. The murder boy well, claimed me. I was actually going as to say... As soon as I got in there, to, I uh, was pretty much pinned in a hole and then... Hometown celebrity like, Mia from GameStop. I'm gonna... Well, that's actually the joke. We worked we worked together, and uh, we looked so much like each other... So much like each other... Called me Doppel Mia, and uh, she has stalkers. And her stalkers would mistake that. me for her. Oh, bummer. And then they would apologize to me for being creepy because they thought that I was her. And it's like, God, a drop more self-awareness like, and they would almost have it. Just about that. So close, buddy. So close. So, uh... I, I got wrecked. Captain Emoji. Quick. I'm really sorry. Finished. And we are back I was, to, to I was looking forward seven. to playing. I was like, Controller oh. is now in T-Dogs. Cap- capable hands. Uh... It, uh, capable hands, I was, yes. I was actually really looking forward to it, too. Uh, I didn't expect to see it for a while, because, uh, well, Mysterious Gamer X is, is a fairly capable Yeah, you did, you did great, buddy. You hung I on for not. a long time the first round. I did not. Well, I mean, I launched myself to the quickest death of all so far, so don't, don't feel bad. I feel like the heavy attack with the axe is a trap. This one? Yeah. 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 Uh, that was what I entered that kill room with, thinking that I might be able to catch I mean, it's guard, less cumbersome but... than our Fable playthrough. If you can hit, it's great. But that's a pretty big if. Let's, uh... Let's change up the weapons, actually. Because this is fun, but I'm not feeling it too much. Let's see what this Morningstar is like. I like it. It's, it's very good. Maybe we don't barrel headlong into this room again. Well, I don't like hanging well, out on the Well, yeah, if you stay on the bridge, fire. it's fire times. And that's true. I mean, oh, so these guys also have healing potions. One of them just downed one. Uh, the shield guy. Yeah. He, he has a, a thing. Yeah. Ah. So the game really wants you to my parry. think, doesn't it? It wants you to do it until you get it right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this is basically the world's grimmest Groundhog Day. Because do you know what happens when you win? It starts over. That's new right. Game, new, new game plus. plus. Oh Christ! You know, I was guessing. I, I like the fact that I was right, though. The, the 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 victory for this is you get to play more. So, was there anything like this before it came out? Yes, Demon actually. Souls and Kingsfield. The games. I remember that... Kingsfield, like on like the PlayStation, right? Yeah. Oh my God, that game was. Were they made well, by the same really publisher? They were. Yep. And they were all balls hard. And so you can kind of see how focusing too much on the shield slows you down just now. Yeah. I mean, it's great when you don't have another option. Or if there's archers and you can't do anything about them. I would love to know from, like, a behavioral scientist or something, though, if using the shield at least first teaches you to slow down and think. It as might. Opposed it to... teaches you to slow down. Because... I, I've noticed that if I don't take the time to slow down and think, I will make the same mistake a thousand times over and just force my, my way through the game when, I mean, maybe that's its its way of encouraging you to learn until you're competent enough to go without I think without a lot it. of the problem with the, the shield in Dark Souls, it, it does slow you down and it does make you think, but the game doesn't force you out of that at any point. Oh, so it can You could be... go the entire game with the shield. And, and once you get a spear, do. you and never once have to... you get to... a spear, you never have to drop the shield. Yeah. Because you, you can, can attack with the spear from jab. the shield. Ah, heck. Bad timing. I do like that morning star, though. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. You know what fantasy weapon I was just thinking about that I, I really liked? Um, the only Hollywood weapon I could remember that I loved was in the recent Robin Hood reboot. With Which like one? I think it was the one with Russell Crowe, maybe, is the lead. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was the one that had the guy from Ace of Spades as Lil Jon. Uh, or, not, sorry, Smoke and Aces as Lil Jon. Um, Heck! Oh. And he had that wicked hammer. 
it had like kind of a a small head, but it was so long that with the force of it, it just was absolutely believable as a dangerously heavy and fast weapon. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And I I've, I've remembered that for like ever, or at least the number of years since that movie came out. <laughs> So are we going to go fight Murder Guy again? Oh, God, no. We're yes. Gonna go, we're going to go down no. there and look the other direction? Because there was a different path down there, too. Only kind of. Uh, and it's also possible that he'll notice us. Oh, I suppose. <sighs> but, yeah, we'll go and we'll look the other direction. Hopefully he doesn't hear us and come push us off this... Schrodinger's It Follows. Oh, is that a, a pit death there? Yeah, that's a pit death. Oh. Can you trick the enemies into pit deaths? You can. Uh, the first time... Is that what it wants us to do here? No, it is not. No. It wants us to just fight that guy. That's dumb. Uh, well, we can always do it later when we're better. I... We could probably beat him. Like, not right now. Mm-hmm. We could. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, anyway... It was a while ago. Feral. Yeah. So. Ba, 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 ba. And. Here comes that barrel. And it's on fire! Nice try, Mr. Man. I'll get you next time, because you'll definitely die soon. I wonder <laughs> if there's a way to lure that other guy and get him to get hit with the barrel. We'll never only know. If you can, only if you can invincibility roll through the barrel. You cannot. Uh, yeah. It's locked. Yeah. Uh, Which is a shame. If we had taken the master key instead of the twin humanities that got used immediately and thrown away. Uh, the bottom of this has a guy in it who has uh, one of the best rings want... in the game. Oh, uh, okay. That uh, it doubles your equip level. Now, who told us to take Twin Humanities? Who was that? That'd be me. I also did not expect mm-hmm. things to play out the way they did. I probably should have in retrospect, uh, so you're not wrong. would think. Just going to link roll through all these barrels, even though I know there's nothing in them. You know, we all need ways ask, to burn off Are stress. there things in barrels in this game? Yeah. I uh, see tons of destroyable stuff. And, and bodies. And my first inclination is to, you know, wreck it. Usually, the, uh, the barrels uh, with things in them you can see because there's a dead guy in there. Oh, okay. So. This looks, um, Wide how do open. you say, ominous. Yeah. Well, there's a ladder. I bet it's fine. So this is actually our first boss arena. Uh, if you don't count the asylum demon. Okay. Yeah, if you don't count the asylum demon. What a sassaroni walk. I love it. <laughs> you know, she's building confidence, and that's what this game is all about. Learning who you are, who accept oh, who you no. are, that and went who you're very meant to poorly. be. And you're meant to win, as a, as, a, as a heads up. I love that you both stopped to have a Gatorade in the middle of your fight. <laughs> Hydration is very important. You know, well, yeah, especially when everyone's a dried up. You can't have skin sickle. like this without some electrolytes. So I may have made a terrible error. We have no health potions, and there's no way out of here but through. Well. And we also have 1,800 souls. Uh, Good you luck. can always use that bone thing to work back. I could. I'll see you what in hell. What do you guys hell. think? I'll see you in hell. We should probably work back. Give it a shot. Not I'll having, see you in not hell. Not having any Estus flasks and having a decent amount of... XP. Yeah, especially since now I'm using this, and like three of these. Oh yeah, well now <laughs> now it would just be gratuitous. You know you want to give it a shot. You know you want to. Let's. If he doesn't make it through that giant bundle, put it of all souls. on red and spin that wheel. Let's split the difference. How about? Let's look at this boss and then go home. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's what they say every time, and you always end up with a goddamn puppy. Uh, <laughs> you know, I. Oh, don't here comes think... our boy! Let's go home! Big boy. Redacted! I don't think Redacted. The boss is a puppy. Not a puppy. Man, I'm I mean... glad that doesn't have a cast time. I mean, it had a little bit of a cast time. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't have, like, a Yeah, but I was, I was just waiting time. for another one of them transient hands things. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, is this going to go off at any point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, should we level up and... Uh, what, yeah. What, what's our time on this episode? Well, it's time. It's all about... Yeah, it's about time. Yeah. All right. Go level up and fight the Taurus demon next time on Endless Mode. Next time on Endless Mode. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Like and subscribe. And, uh... I'm about to level up, so why don't you, in the comments, tell us what you think we should be putting our points in. I'm going to do this right now, so it doesn't matter what you say, but we still would love to hear from you. I'm feel, still... free for, feel free to tell us how bad we are and at leveling s- up our character and how we're gimping ourselves for the future. And we're oh, still yeah, looking yeah. for investors sub-optimal. for toe bangers. So... <laughs> I was going to say, sub Nice builds. callback. <laughs> if, you, if you guys are looking to really get your name into the brand, <laughs> now is the time. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.